What's up, guys? How you doing today? You rocking out with the one and only Philly Don? I'm out here in um. This is better. This is better. There we go. What's up, guys? How you doing? Miami said, what's up, man? I'd like to give a shout out today to my boy. Miami, hello, man. What's up with you, Miami? What's going on with you? I'd like to give a shout out to my boy, uh, Mitch. In Australia, man. Happy birthday to you, man. Happy birthday to you in Australia. Philly Don got people everywhere all over the galaxy. I'm like Star Wars. Philly Wars. So shout out to my boy Mitch out there in Australia. Happy birthday, man. Out here from your boy in the Dominican Republic, Philly Dom. Happy birthday, my brother. TV say, yo, you're in Mexico? No, I'm not in Mexico, man. I mean, um, Santa Domingo, Dominican Republic. Lady Williams said, hello, everybody. TV said, first light, thank you, man. Lady said, please hit the like button. ASU, enter. But yeah, man, I'd like to give a shout out to my boy Mitch. I met him in Mexico, matter of fact. I met him in uh, Mexico. He was traveling with his friends. Man, they were going all over, man. They were going all over. There was a whole crew of them guys from um, Australia, guys, guys and females. And they were going all over. Shout out to them. The other day, guys, we're going to talk about um, why I lived in Mexico. Because everybody know I lived in Tijuana, Mexico. Why I picked Tijuana, Mexico to live. I lived there for like eight years. Maybe a little bit over eight years. I always got to do the math on it. And then uh, before I said, hello, Philly Dom, how's everything? How's everyone? How's, wait, let me see. Hello, Philly Dom, hi, everyone. Hi, Sister Nadine. TV said, please. Then also, man, I used to live in um, California, so I want to give a special, 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 special shout out to my boy Ace up there in um, Central California. Living up there in Central California. He's a good brother, man. And um, also, I'd like to give a shout out to his uh, friend. I think it's his partner that he works with at his job. Pete. I'd like to give a shout out to Pete, his friend, and they from uh, Santa Maria, to be exact. Ace in uh, Santa Maria and Pete in Santa Maria. Ace, man, I appreciate you, man. I had some trouble a while ago. You helped me out financially. I never forgot you for that, man. Ace, you're a good dude, man. Ace, you're a good dude. Appreciate you, my brother, man. Hopefully, I get a chance to get back to California um, the next couple months, and we can link up, hang out, man. Get some, But hopefully, we can do something when I get back to um, California one of these days soon, and we'll link up, man. And Pete, shout out to you, too. And Mitch, man, happy birthday from your boy Philly Dom out here in the mighty, 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 mighty DR. And, um, man, enjoy your day, man. Enjoy your day. Mitch, my boy Mitch in Australia. Let me read some of these comments. Certified said, what's good from Florida, man? Florida's good, man. Florida's good to me, too, man. Shout out to my boy Eclipse out there in Miami. Shout out to Certified from Florida, man. I used to live in Miami for a little bit. I used to live in West Palm Beach as well. Then Nadine Williams said, your cash app is Philly. The money sign Philly Dom 75. Facebook is Philly Dom. Instagram is at I am underscore Philly Dom. Then Cash 501 said, what's up, Mr. Dom? I don't know, man. What's going on with you? What's going on with you? 
What is going on with you? Cash, what is going on with you? And then we got Gaio G. Gaio, what's up? Sakba, say Gaio. How you doing today, Gaio? You guys need to check her channel out. She's a YouTuber. She's doing big things. Check out her content. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what she do exactly. I want you to go there, subscribe, and check out her content and see what she's doing. She said, good evening, Dom and everyone. Guy OG, man, I appreciate you. Thank you for everything. You're an amazing person. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in to the live. I greatly appreciate it. You guys should check out our channel. I stamp for approval. Let's check out our channel. Yeah. And it's Haiti to the world. It's Dominican Republic to the world. And please, please, guys, give these videos. Give, give, the, give, my, give all my videos a like. But please give this video a like that we're watching right now out here that we're on right now here in the Dominican Republic, AKA the mighty, mighty DR. The real streets, I'm gonna do a video called the real streets of the mighty, mighty DR. The, the real streets of the mighty, mighty Dominican Republic. And then Nadine said, humanity before honor. Yes, indeed. Nadine said, attention, attention. Remember to hit the, the hit the the like turn that color blue yes indeed and we have expat at large man expat at large what's up how you doing man how are you doing expat at large what's going on in tijuana mexico rosarito beach mexico what's going on talk to me my brother the name he said to support by a super chat hit that money money at the bottom yes indeed then we got phil's i just found out that miko is is locked up messed up oh you didn't know he was locked up yeah man they got him in colombia on some um i don't want to talk about it man <laughs> they got him on some stuff man some serious things He said, big conspiracy. Yeah, he, he's, he's locked up. Then, uh, ED, Edgar, what's up, man? All is well, man. All is well. All is well. I was well for me out here in the Dominican Republic. This live, I want to talk about on why I lived in Mexico. The majority of my time living in Mexico, I lived in Tijuana, Mexico, but I lived all over Mexico. But mainly Tijuana, I spent a lot of time in uh, Playa de Carmen. I spent some time in Guadalajara, Mexico. Everybody got to check that place out. Also, I spent some time in Mexico City. But my stay in Mexico has been between them four places. Spent a little bit of time in Cancun, but that's Playa de Carmen. Also a little bit of time in Tulum, Mexico as well. But my main stay in Mexico was Tijuana, Mexico. I lived there for years, years, for years, years, and years. I found about I found out about Tijuana, Mexico. Well, I've been, I've been known about Tijuana, Mexico. Matter of fact, when I was living in Florida, I came out, took a, a West Coast run, and I actually went to Tijuana. But it wasn't impressive or anything to me like that. Then I ended up working with Walgreens, the drugstore chain. I worked for them in um, Florida, and um, eventually I got transferred to California. And I had a friend that I was working with in California that had a place down in Tijuana, Mexico. And she used to go down there every weekend. So one weekend I was like, no, let me just get, the, let me go down there, let me check it out. Cause she's always going every weekend. I went there and I like, you know, going to a place and not just assuming. Cause you know, you hear about the, the drugs, the cartels, the strip clubs, the bars, the partying all day, all night. You hear all these different stories about the donkey show. You hear all these different crazy things about Tijuana, Mexico. I went down there. She took me to her Tijuana, Mexico. So they live like a little bit outside. They live in Tijuana, but not in the downtown area. They lived like in the suburbs. And um, man, I, I met her family and everything like that. And um, 
They actually had nice houses and there's nice areas there to live and it's very affordable. So after that, um, I packed my bags and uh, a week or two later, I ended up moving down to uh, Tijuana, Mexico. And that's how I started living down there. But every now and then when I was, I was, how can I say this? I have been there maybe a couple times before, but with some other co-workers, but um, we just went, I guess to go back in the story to, to make you understand it, we went to a party, but I never really um, thought about living there until my friend told me that they had good places to live, so I ended up getting a house down there, and I, I lived in Mexico for a while. But uh, when I went down there with her, she showed me another side. So I've been to Tijuana, just to clear everything up, I've been to Tijuana before that. Like I said, but um, when I went with her, she showed me another side, like it's two sides of Tijuana, and she showed me that you could live down there and you could have a nice place, and you could live in a nice neighborhood and you could survive like if you was in the States. Uh, let's see what's going on. Um, Expert at Large said, I'm out here on my lunch break trying to hold it down. Yes, indeed, Expat, I understand, man. Yeah, you said you was working in um, San Ysidro, right? Right by the border, you said you was working there. Abraham said, hi, Philly, how are you? I'm doing good. Then uh, Nadine Williams um, sent a link to another channel or something. And then uh, Abraham said, oh, hello, Mrs. Nadine. And then Expat at Large said, Expat stories with Philly Dom. Yes, indeed, man. Just want to let people know. But Tijuana is actually, it's two sides of Tijuana. They have their rough side and their dangerous side. But they also have, you can actually live there like a normal human being in a, a nice house, in a nice neighborhood. Similar to if you was living in San Diego, California, or Los Angeles, California, or San Francisco, or um, Sacramento, California. And that's what I found out once you leave out of that little city area. So it's, yes, it, yes, I'm not going to lie to you. Hold up, somebody gave $5. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Liquor store talks. Appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much, man, for the $5 super chat. Appreciate you. I salute you. Thank you for the super chat, man. I greatly, greatly appreciate you. Thank you so much. So let me go back in the story. So they do have, it's two sides of Tijuana, so they do have areas that you can live in. But yes, it, yes, it has been the most dangerous city I ever lived in. I know people are like, what, Philly Dom? And it sounds crazy what you're saying. But if you stay away from certain areas, you don't have nothing to worry about. And if you stay in certain areas, it's like any other place in the States. This is, this, if it's a bad neighborhood from wherever you're from, United States or Canada, or Europe, wherever you're from, you stay away from the areas and you sort of try to put yourself in the, the the better neighborhoods you don't have that much to worry about i mean nothing is 100 percent. and yes tijuana at the time when i was living there at one time was the most dangerous city in the world as far as killing but that's like the cartel was killing each other they rarely touch civilians it's just between them but if your family member or something or a friend is involved in that that could bring drama to your front step just trying to keep it 100 with you guys and let you know and i'm sure expat can back me up on that because he lives down there as well expat at large and then america tv said philly cinch you leave haiti you lost <laughs> what he say? just you lost he said philly cinch you leave haiti you you lost 70, 75, 75% in your views and 75% in your subscribers too. I don't know if you notice. Yeah, but it's coming back up. I mean, I'm a YouTuber. I notice everything that's going on with my channel. I do this for a living. I do this for a living, America. I'm glad you um let me know that. But you're right. Yeah, it, it, it has took a hit. It has definitely, definitely 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 took a hit being here in the dr but i needed the the vacation i was in haiti for a while so i needed the little vacation to get out of here but i'll be going back to haiti soon what do you think i can do american tv 
to um, boost the channel back up? What do you What do you think? What do you opt that I do, man? What do you think I should do, man? I always, I'm a humble dude, so I'm 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 I'm, I'm here for any kind of feedback. The Nadine said, "Please, family, check out that link. Subscribe my place of worship, Garden of um, Garden of Grace Ministries." And Nadine, where is it at? What city is that in? And what? I know it's in the U.S., but what city? And thank you for um, sending that to us, Nadine. We greatly appreciate that. Nadine Williams said, okay. Uh, Abraham. And then Phil said, when you're going to Sassua, you can interview Mary. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely thinking about trying to go to Sassua tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the day after that. Definitely for sure. And then uh, Expat at Large said, working in old time mess of man, you bringing back memories. The 905 bus, lots of laugh. I know exactly what you're talking about, my brother. What you doing over there, um, Expat at Large? You told me, you said it was working for a temp agency over there doing something. What you doing over there? Then Nadine Williams said, liquor store, our first super chat. Bro, you got, you, um, bro, we say our first super chat, bro, you got to the thanks for that donation blessings they didn't basically said we thank you for that donation man we appreciate you thank you so much man liquor store talks we appreciate you man thank you so much man appreciate you my brother shout out to you my brother appreciate you Nanny williams said to support our brother super chat hit the money at the bottom and then thomas said only just got oh you only just got notification yeah you, youtube is a little slow sometimes and then expat at large said it's hard to make money traveling right now nobody can really travel and most don't have the study income hard to support for the moment man expat at large i understand i overstand i understand and i overstand they ran said good you are going back to haiti i'm enjoying the sightseeing Yes, indeed, I will be going back there. That'll be a surprise, but I'm going back very, very soon to Haiti to um, do more videos and see what we can do about the situations over there in the country of Haiti. But yeah, um, all is well. And I just, you know, shout out again to my boy, Mitch. Happy birthday to you out there in Australia. Appreciate you, my brother. Also, shout out to my boy uh, Ace and Santa Marie, uh, Central California. We're going to link up one of these days soon, my brother. We are going to link up one of these days soon. We will link up again. One of the, well, we link up one of these days soon. And then Abraham said, good. Okay, yeah. You, yeah, I read that again just to double check that. I'm going back to Haiti. But yeah, um, Mexico really... Um, but I can tell you guys, Mexico really uh, helped me as far as getting used to living outside of the United States. I mean, it was a small move. The move to Tijuana, Mexico, was just right across the border from San Diego, California, San Jacinto, California. And um, I just took the chance, I, I leap on faith. I was living in LA, man. LA was hella expensive. LA is a nice place to live, man, but LA, is hella expensive. Man, forget this, man. I'm going to keep it real 100 with you guys. The whole California is expensive. <laughs> California, you really go find somewhere cheap to live. And I was paying, like, rent out of the Wazoo in L.A. I mean, I was living nice. Had a nice apartment. I lived in, uh, like, a studio apartment. Then I ended up moving to uh, uh, another studio apartment. But it had a lot of it had a lot of amenities and everything. And it was it, it was it was nice. It was definitely nice. Oh, man, Liquor Store Talk, man. Thank you so much, my brother. He said, Viva La Mexico. Yes, uh, Viva La Mexico, man. It's Mexico to the world as well, man. And um, let me say it one more time, but Viva La Mexico. So, yeah, um, I was living in Mexico, man. I was living, I was living in Mexico. And another thing you guys know, don't know that um, right now in Tijuana they have a whole bunch of Haitians that live there. They have a big Haitian community there in Tijuana, Mexico. Shout out to all my Haitians that live in Tijuana, Mexico. That live in Mexicali. That live out in um, Tecate. 
and Rosarito Beach and Ensenada. Shout out to all the nations that's living there over there right now. So it's a, it's a big, 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 major, major Haitian community over there. Bars, restaurants, barbershops. I think they might even have a grocery store now. Like they 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 work construction over there. I met a Haitian Uber driver. Um, they in almost every facet of the the workforce in um in Tijuana in Tijuana, Mexico. When I first came, I used to always tell people I was the first Haitian to ever lived in Tijuana, Mexico, because I had it in my house. I had a flag, a Haitian flag in there. So when you come in there, you see the Haitian flag. People are like, yo, what flag is that? Yo, that's the Haitian flag. And I was living in, on shout out to my peoples out there in Colinas de California. That's why I was living. It's in Tijuana, man. It's like in the suburbs. Nice little um, gated community. If anybody is in California, they want to move to Tijuana, I would definitely tell them to try to get a spot over over there and Colinas de California, man. Nice spot, nice place, man. That Thomas said only you got notifications. Something happened with the notifications, Thomas. I don't know, man. Then expat at large said, it's yeah, I hear you. And then Nichols said, yo, that's up, man. Yo, that's up, man. And then Expedit Large Zoo, they still have a curfew going on. Yes, they do, my brother. They still have a curfew going on. Lick at store talk, man. I appreciate you. What is it? I'm pardon me if I pronounce this wrong. Chachuna? Chachuna? Somebody break that down for me. If I'm saying it wrong, Chachuna. Uh Liquor Store, man. Thank you for the um super chat again. What is chai? What is chai? Chai tuna. What is that, man? Let me know what that is. It must be uh, a part of Mexico. I'm just saying it wrong. Then Arlene Wade said, Evening P. Diddy. Yes, indeed. Miami said, What's up, Philly? How is the cost of living in Tijuana? Cost of living in Tijuana is very cheap, very affordable. You can probably get a two or three bedroom house for like five hundred a month in rent, no more than maybe seven hundred. I know people that live there for two, three hundred dollars for rent for apartment two or three bedrooms. It's definitely, it's definitely uh, a good situation if you could live down there. If you're in California or something and you want to live there and work in California, because a lot of people do that now. They 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 live in Tijuana. Man. Mexico or Rosarito Beach or Ensenada and they commute or Mexicali and they commute back and forth to San Diego or to Los Angeles for work. But it's definitely a good good situation. You can definitely save a lot of money there as well. And some people even eventually buy houses there too as well. But um it's a, it's a, it's a prime location cuz it's right there by it's right there by um by San Diego, California, and it's a it's a strategic location. I'm telling you, man, you won't go wrong if you're living in the California area. You can do that, and then some people, I guess, you're living in um, Arizona, you can do the same thing. But it's it's a prime location. It's a prime, prime, prime location, man. To go um, think about living if you're in California. It's definitely cheap on the pockets. Definitely. Definitely, definitely cheap on the pockets. It's night and day. It's night and day from what you would pay in the States. Also, guys, if you guys can get this video, obviously the, the weather's good. Their beaches are all right. You know, it's the Pacific Coast beaches. The, the Pacific Coast beaches, you know how they look. The beaches look nice, but the water is not as clear. It's a little darker. And you can always go back and forth. I don't know what's going on now due to the pandemic. I heard there was a, a line to go across. That's your biggest obstacle when you're living down there, crossing back into the United States. That'll be your biggest obstacle. But you can get a century pass that'll run a background check on you. You can get a century pass, and that'll get you back and forth between both countries pretty fast. If not, you're gonna have to wait in these long lines, but they used to not be that long, but now I guess due to the pandemic, I heard one of the, the borders were closed down. 
I guess they have short staff. I don't know what's going on, so it's a little harder when you're crossing back and forth. Then Arlene Way said, how was your day, Philly Tom? My day was good. I, I did recorded a lot of footage. Matter of fact, I have some footage for you guys now that I recorded. I just edit and everything, so I'm going to put that out when I get off this live. I'm going to definitely put that footage out when I get off the live. I'll definitely, definitely, definitely put that footage out. Then expat at large said, two Haitian cats working down the street from me, from my house, doing construction work, put a wall up in a driveway. Yes, indeed. It's a good with the um, construction, man. They're just hard workers across the boards, man. They're hard workers across the board. And then America TV channel said, next time you go to Haiti, go to California, one of the most historical places in the world. Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to do that. I'm definitely going to have to do that. Remind me, American TV. Remind me, remind me, remind me. Remind me, remind me, remind me, but I'll definitely go there. Definitely, definitely for sure. We got another super chat. Let's see what's going on. Oh, muchas gracias, Jesus. Oh, oh, you're talking about the, the Jesus statue. You're talking about that Jesus statue liquor store. Thank you for the other. Thank you for the $5 super chat. But you're talking about that. You're talking about that. The, the cross. Liquor store talk. You're talking about the cross. The Jesus statue with the cross. I think that's what you're talking about. Let me know if you're talking about that. Thank you for the uh, $5 super chat. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, man, I got to go back on this one. Hold on. I'm still here with you guys. I like to always play this music in the background, but I'm having a little problem right now with it. I'm having a big problem with it right now. Heck, I'm still here with you guys. And, uh, yes, it went back. Yes, that's cool. Oh, that's kind of, dang oh, the neighborhood. That's the neighborhood in Tier 1. Man, you got to tell me, man. Some stuff I forget. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't go through that neighborhood if it's kind of dangerous like that. Thank you. Thank you, expat, for letting me know. And Liquor Store Talk, appreciate you, my brother. And then Nadine Williams said, who needs to be our next Super Chat supporter? Let me see you. And then he said, hit the like button. Nadine said, Arlene's sister, expat alert said, I'm saving for a, a motorcycle, I'm faking the funk using <laughs> a can across, a cane across. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Expat at large, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Fitness and travel life said, sorry, man, I'm late, champ. I was doing a live. I saw I saw you doing a live. I saw you, I was trying to wait for you to get off fitness. And then Nadine Williams said, liquor store, you are, you're pour me some Red Bull and, and my drink. Man, look at store talk, man. What's going on with you today, man? I greatly, greatly, I greatly appreciate the support today. Look at store talk. Greatly, greatly appreciate you, man. Then Nadine Williams said, Cash, Cash App is Money Sign Philly Dom. Facebook is Philly Dom. And Instagram is at I am Philly Dom. You guys can hit me up anytime. I'm a real person. You can talk to me, and I'll definitely reach out to you. The Nadine Williams say PayPal me, PayPal me, Philly Dom. That's my PayPal. Thank you so much, Nadine. And then 24 said, have you seen, seen his Gentry channel? Yeah, man. 20, Gentry's, that's my boy. That's my boy in Haiti, man. He's my friend, man. We talk today, matter of fact, man. That's my friend. See, Gentry is my friend, man. I know him. I know who he is. The Nick who said, how are you, you like it, how you like it in Haiti? Haiti, Haiti's a nice place, man. I'm still getting acclimated to it, but I've been there for a while now, so I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable there. I just picked the DR because I needed to, you know, always get out of Haiti every now and then just to get a little uh, breather. 
and get a little vacay. So that's why I got the place here in the yard so I can go back and forth. So I can get a little, a little breather. Let me drink some water. And then, um, Expert Lawrence said, no, Philly. <coughs> Liquor store was asking you about, <coughs> oh, the Mexican state, a Chihuahua. Oh, I've, I've been there. Liquor store actually been there. i actually been there. <coughs> that one went over my head. Woo! That went right over my head. Then Miami said, yo, Philly, we are going back to Alaska anytime soon. Yeah, I'll be going back. Next year, I'll definitely go back to Alaska. I'll go back next year. Definitely, I will go back to Alaska next year for sure. I will definitely go to Alaska next year for sure. I will be in Alaska next year for sure. Maybe just for a small season, but I'll definitely, definitely go there to Alaska. Man, you can make good money out there in Alaska. You can make good money there in Alaska. I'm still here with you guys. So I got it to Wawi. Man, that one went over my head. Liquor store. I've been there. Liquor store, are you still there? Let me know. I'm glad they broke it down to me. Sometimes I'm a little slow, my brother. Sometimes I'm a little slow. And then Nixon said, are you still in Haiti? No, I'm in a DR, but I will be going to Haiti pretty soon. And also, guys, if you can get this video a like, I would greatly appreciate it. If you could get this video a like, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. I definitely, I'm in the Dominican Republic now, Nichols, but I will be back in Haiti sooner than you think. Sooner than you can blink your eyes, I will be back in Haiti. And then, uh, ex just the name will throw you back, Philly. Lots of laughs. The Jay said, "Love you, Don, Dami." Love you too, Jay. What's going on with you? Thank you for the, the clarification, expat at large. Man, I'm slow sometimes. Sometimes I'll be like, <laughs> I'm confusing myself. So, wow, yeah, I've been through that, man. I've been through that state. And the Sinaloa, or what is that? I've been, I've, I've been to a, a lot of states. If I think about it, it's a couple of them. I've been to a couple of them. Sinaloa, Sonora, Jalisco, that's Guadalajara, whatever the state from Mexico City. Also, for Playa de Carmen, that state, I've been there. And Cancun, and okay. And then Ekpet Alar said, hey, so what's up with, um, what's up with Jack? Who's Jack? Who's Jack? And then Ekpet Alar said, you've seen Jack. And Pat, oh, Alaskan Pat. Around, yeah, Alaskan Pat's been talking with me. We have, he has my what's up and everything. We talk. Jack, I'm still trying to think who Jack is. Then Nichols said, that's nice. I will be there myself next week for my vacation. You'll be in Haiti or the Dominican Republic. What place will you be going next week for your vacation? What place will you be going next week for your vacation, Nichols? Haiti or the DR, which place? Let me know, my brother. Let me know. What place will you be going next week for your vacation? Um, and then Miami said, do you honestly see Haiti changing for the better? Miami, to be truthful with you, I believe in God. Anything is possible for those who believe in God. 
And um, I see Haiti getting better one of these days. Something will change. Something will bend in the favor of the Haitians in Haiti, and something will change. I believe it. I, I stand on it, and I believe it. Something will change for Haiti one of these days. I don't know what day, but one of these days, something positive plus will change for Haiti. I see it coming, and, and I'm walking, and I'm stepping on it by faith that it's going to happen. So, I, yeah, I believe that something good will happen in Haiti one of these days. And then Nadine said, Nichols, enjoy when you was deported to Haiti. Okay. Wait, everything got confusing all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Mucho <laughs> dinero. Chihuahua. Yeah, Tijuana. It's not a... <laughs> Uh, liquor store talk man thank you thank you man for the five dollars super chat again i greatly greatly appreciate you man thank you thank you so much man liquor store talk i don't forget you appreciate you my brother there's a lot of money there and he said tijuana is not a oh man and the expat at large said whatever happened to do who was deported to Oh, you're talking about Sony? He's there. He's down in Haiti. I'm going to do a video on him one of these days. He's down in Haiti. He's down there. There's nothing he can do. He's surviving. Yeah, his name is Sony Raymond. He's down there in Haiti. He's surviving. He's surviving. Um, Liquor Source Talk, thank you so much, man. The Nadine said, Jade in the house. And Nichols said, I'll be in Haiti for one month for my vacation. That's all right, my brother. Then expat at large said, Liquor Store funny lamo liquor store appreciate you man thank you for all the support today also if you guys can get this video a like i greatly appreciate it also guys you know i have cash app i have paypal also if you want to reach out to me you can reach out to me through instagram or facebook i greatly appreciate you guys and please share my videos please tell all your friends family to subscribe to my channel please give my videos a like i greatly 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 appreciate that i thank you guys for everything without you it wouldn't be me so i appreciate you guys man and then jay said uh i will and i can tell you enjoy the good life over there and you your looks you look very healthy keep up keep up love you bunches thank you so much Jade, thank you, thank you so much. It's definitely a different type of lifestyle living over here in uh, the Dominican Republic and Haiti. It's definitely a different, different, different lifestyle. But I still need to shed some pounds. I might be eating a little too good, but I still need to shed some pounds. But after that, all is well out here. And the mighty, mighty DR and the historical Haiti. All is well in the mighty DR and the historical Haiti. Man, so yeah, like, so I was just trying to tell you guys it's about Mexico. It's a wonderful place, man. I enjoy living there in Tijuana. I enjoy traveling through the country. Man, I really have a lot of love for Mexico. And then expat at large said, time to head back to work. Boxing them um, tortillas. Stay up, Philly. And chat. And thanks for the um, supporting. Thanks for supporting, brother. Thanks for supporting, boy. Yes, indeed. It's uh, Mexico to the world, guys. It's Mexico to the world. But yeah, the cost of living is cheap. The food is cheap. You uh, have easy access to the United States. It's right there. So you can get the best of both worlds. You can live for cheap, and then you can cross in there. They actually call these people uh, undocumented uh, un. They call people that uh, do that go back and forth between the both borders. They call them un they're like undocumented because they might be on paper in the states, but they live in Mexico. But or they might live in both places. They might go back and forth because even though I lived in Mexico, I could stay in L.A. much as I needed to be in L.A. or San Diego. Always had a place over there as well. Well, like not my own place, but like a friend's. 
or somebody that I could stay at their house that I had a room or something. So I was always uh, able to go back and forth comfortably. And then uh, Jay says, Sister Nate, Boo Boo, how are you? My boy, lots of laughs. Expat Large said that. And then peace out. Expat at Large, peace out, man. And please, guys, if you can give this video a like, I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. And if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me about Tijuana, Mexico, living in Tijuana, Mexico over eight years, ask me about my times in Tijuana, Mexico. They have great food. They do party 24-7. They have uh, actually nice restaurants. They have a lot of... Um, my favorite pizza place there, Victorio's. If you're ever in Tijuana, Mexico, and you're on a revolution, well, you can just ask them how you can go and call Victorio's. The best pizza, man. And I actually miss that pizza. I'm here in the Dominican Republic. I actually miss that pizza. I actually really, really miss that pizza. Yeah, Tijuana is known for their food. And to me, they have the best tacos. In Mexico, people argue with you back and forth about it, but I say Tijuana, Mexico has the best tacos in Mexico. And people are like, oh, is that the border? It's not real Mexico, but they definitely have the best. Liquor store talk, man. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you for the $5 super chat. Haiti will always be poor because of voodoo. You believe that, man? I believe something could change with that. You know why I say... It's just not about voodoo because other countries deal with voodoo and they are striving or they're in a better situation. So you, you think because a country was dedicated, well, how could I say that? You think because of the, the voodoo, the country was like dedicated to voodoo, that's what's stopping a country from progressing. It's like a, a spiritual hold or a bond on the country that's what you think liquor store talk talk to me let me know what you think and then uh alexander just said el salvador is waiting for you my friend yes indeed when you come back again to el salvador um i'll try to go in the next two months when you guys gonna open up you guys are not open yet el salvador is not even open yet and you don't want to be stuck or trapped, or if I have to move around because I need to go to Belize to see my son, and that's in Central America as well. So when when is El Salvador open? Alexandra, when is um El Salvador open, man? I'm telling you guys, people from El Salvador are some of the most friendliest people I ever met in my entire life. Some very very good people. And liquor stores, let me know, man. You think Haiti will always be poor? He said Haiti will always be poor because of of the food. You really believe that? You think that's what's uh, holding Haiti back? Let me get my other water right here. You think that's what's holding Haiti back? You think that's what's holding Haiti back, man? Look at store talk. Talk to me. And, uh, and then they need said. Great Jay hair watching CNN. What they saying on CNN? Great. And then Miami said Haiti has no middle class. There are a small number of wealthy and the rest are poor. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the get down in Haiti. You write about that. You 100 percent write about that. And if they do have a middle class, it's like maybe four percent, three percent. Because I met some Haitians that are not super wealthy, but they're not poor. But majority of Haitians I've met are like really poor. Really poor. Uh, what else? Uh, Arlene said, Democratic uh, Convention is on. Okay. Thank you for letting me know that, Arlene. Let me know, man. You be down in we down in these countries like Haiti and the Dominican Republic, man. I ain't even watching TV like that. I, I barely watch TV. I'm always on like YouTube and stuff. 
But thank you for letting me know that information. Greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. So sometimes I'll be lost in the sauce and I don't know what's going on. I'm like oblivious to what's going on in the outside world. Not all the time, but sometimes. Okay, uh, Jade says, Sister Nadine, you like CNN news. I, she said you like CNN news. Looks like she does. But liquor store talk, man. Let me know something. Did Miami say go, go Joe Biden, go to Maria uh, Harris? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Camilla, Camilla, Camilla Harris. But my time in um, Tijuana, I really do miss Tijuana, Mexico. I actually really do miss Mexico, man. I had an amazing, amazing run over there in Mexico. Good people. Good people as well, man. Mexico to the world. Um, man, it was, it, was, it was a good time living there. It was a good time, you know. I just want people to know Tijuana is just more, more than just partying. They do have museums. They have churches there. They have... Uh, cathedrals there uh, Nichols say you know what people always going to talk bad about voodoo okay I hear you on that uh, Nichols and then Carl said uh, and then they didn't say you know Miami Jamaican Indian and then Miami said voodoo has nothing to do why Haiti is poor well what you think they can change in Haiti to make it a, a a better country, I would I would say myself. I would say security. Tighten up the security in the country, because then, if it's security, you have more people willing to invest in the countries that will bring jobs, and then people can feed their family. My first thing would be security, and then we work on the infrastructure. But security, you have to have the country secure, and then work on the infrastructure. That's just my opinion. I'm not no government official. I don't have no expertise in this field. I'm just telling you what I think. What do you guys think? Because I, I, I would love to see the day I want to see Haiti get tourism how uh, the DR has tourism. I would love, I would love to see that. Then Jade says, Sister Nadine, me, I'm watching my Domi because I like him. He is a... a he is a gear. I guess she's saying I'm an angel. Thank you so much, Aiden. Also, guys, please, once again, please get a video like. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it if you guys could give this video a like. It would mean the world to me. It would mean so much to me if you can get this video a like. Then Aiden Williams said, oh, yes, Jay Fitness said, Miami, I agree. Yeah. I agree with you guys as well. To something that would have to change. And I, I, man, that would make me so happy to see Haiti get up on his feet, man. Because definitely, I hear, I'm in here in the DR, man. And I, I tell you guys, man, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. I'm going to move this pillow back. I'm in the DR, man. And um, sometimes I'll repeat this over and over. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm on the same island, man. I don't feel like this is the same island with Haiti because when you're on the DR, you got restaurants, malls, movie theaters, paved roads, sidewalks. Um, the country is functioning. I know it's a third world country too, and they have their political problems and they have their their economical problems and their you know every problems like any other country. But the country is striving, definitely striving. They got highways, they got roads, oh man. They got all sorts of franchises and companies down here doing business down here in the DR. So one day I would love to see Haiti get that because that would definitely give jobs and stuff because at the end of the day, every Haitian can't leave Haiti to go abroad. The immigration system will not allow every person to leave their country and live in another country. Some people will get denied no matter what. That's just the 
the way of the the, the immigration works. And then Nadine said, attention, attention, hit the like button, family. Yes, indeed. And please, guys, please get a video like. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys get a video like, because when you give the video like, you spread it, and more and more people can see this video, and they can see what we're talking about. And they can probably bring some kind of feedback to the topic. And then Miami said, hating these infrastructure, they need to get security first, and then work on creating jobs. Yes. You got to secure the country for our greed. I'm telling you, I was sitting there for six months. Our Creole ain't that good, but I'm a people watcher and I observe and I watch and I'm like, if I was control over here, what would I do first? Security. You got to make the place safe. You got to make the place safe. Or, and, and, and what I'm saying, like, it's, you just have to secure the country. After you do that, then you can work on the infrastructure. And then once people see the country secure, they'll bring companies won't be scared to bring McDonald's down here or 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 a Walmart or just you know different businesses, whatever they are. If it's their mom and pop, if they're a franchise, if it's some kind of other type of business. And then Miami said, "Hey, hating me." Okay, yeah, we answered that one. And then Carl said, "What's up, Carl? The crazy thing, if you know how." I don't know how the rich and materials in Haiti has we could have one of the top countries in the world. Riches are if it's crazy how if you knew how rich in minerals Haiti has, we could be the richest country in the world. That's wild, man. And then Alexandria said uh, September fourth. We will be open. Okay, okay. I will be looking closely with a cane out and watching. Then Arlene Truth call. And then um, Jade said, Dami, do not answer political questions. I don't want you to get hurt. I'm not really answering. I'm just saying my uh, opinion. Like I said, I'm not into politics, nor do I want to be a part of any, con any country's politics like that. I'm just saying if somebody would ask me, that's what I would say. We got another super chat here, see. But I can't see it. Why can I not see it? Oh, it came up now. Liquor Store Talk, man. Thank you, man. Thank you for the $5 super chat. And You Lost Voodoo is... Uh, you Lost Voodoo is the reason... Before... 50509 is the reason not today, not next week, or not a month. Or maybe a year, you will understand. The loss you lose, you lost voodoo, is the reason because be careful, 509 is the reason. What is 509? I mean, I know what 509 is, but what, what he, what's the 509 symbolizes? Let me know, man. This is getting deep now. This is getting deep. liquor store explain yourself a little bit more so they can uh, understand what you're saying he was talking about Mexico and now we end up talking about Haiti and and I'm actually hanging out in the DR this is this is I love you too man you never know where these conversations go you never know what we're gonna talk about so it's amazing how everything works itself out let's see okay then call said man I'm ready to defend my country. We have to stand as men and go to Haiti and protect it. Point blank. Can't nobody do it for us. Call you 100% right, man. For this problem to get solved in Haiti, whatever issues we have over there, it's going to take Haitians from the States or Haitians from Haiti or Haitians from Mexico or Haitians from Chile or Haitians from the DR. Haitians from France or Europe or anywhere else in the Europe and Canada, Haitians going to have to figure it out themselves. Nobody going to help you better than you help yourself. Always remember that. Even if somebody do hold you down for a point or a spell in life, they ain't going to help you like you help yourself. I promise you that. Then Nickel said, uh, to change Haiti, we need to change government from president to president to mayor. 
Okay, I hear you, Nichols. And then Nadine Williams said, Liquor Store Talk. Thank you so much, Liquor Store Talk. We greatly appreciate the Super Chat tonight. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting the Philly Dime Movement. I greatly appreciate you. And then Jay said, uh, Jay says, Sister Nine, are you home or at work? And then Nadine Williams said, I'll, Nadine Williams said, in my bed, Jade always home on weekdays except weekends. Then Carl said, we just need 30,000 Haitians from all over to protect our country. That's a lot of Haitians, man, 30,000. Not too many, but that's a lot from all over to protect the country. That's the only way. Something will change, man. I'm telling you, I believe in God. Something definitely, I'm praying. One day something will change drastically for Haiti in the positive that will help the, the masses of people there because um, Haiti's rough on a good day, man. I'm not going to lie to you, man. For most Haitians, it's rough on a good day. Then Jay says, Sister Nod, that's good to be home resting. Yes, indeed. But um, the struggle's real, man. The struggle's real out there. The RIC, you know, in the capital, seems like everybody's working, everything's all right. But on the countryside, I know they have their struggles too, and they have their poor people here as well, because it is a third world country. But one thing I'm gonna give the Dominicans, man, no matter what they're doing, they definitely run the country right. And then liquor store talk, man. Thank you, man, for the five dollar super chat again. I appreciate you. And then you said where we, where we, you are at when we was eating. Where. Where are you at when we was eating mud pies? They showed the Haitian flag flying on. You talking about where was I at? While Haitians were eating mud pies, or who who you talking about? Uh, liquor store? Cause I was in the, I was in the states, working. Or are you talking about somebody else? One of the uh, people on the channel on the live. Who are you talking about? You said where were you at? When we was eating mud pies, and then the uh, flag, Haitian flag, and then 509. Clarify yourself a little bit more so everybody knows what you talk about, liquor store talk. over here got water everywhere please guys get a video like i greatly appreciate it saying liquor store talk talk to us man explain yourself for us people in the chat to understand yeah he said where were you at when we were was eating mud pies the Haitian flag and then 509 somebody want to say something we all got quiet after he he left that comment. I guess people typing, trying to put gather their thoughts together, typing. Okay, boom, we got somebody. And then good job, um, Dami. You like drinking water? Yes, indeed, I do. Drink water is definitely healthy. The best thing you can drink. I'm actually burning up out here. My air conditioning is giving me a little bit of problems, so um, I'm surviving. You know, the best way I can. Surviving the best way I can. But after that. All is well, all is well. I think I'm almost done with this water right now. Drink two waters. The topic is getting hot, man. What's going on, guys? Let's get some feedback. We came in here talking about uh, my boy Mitchell's birthday. We gave a shout out to my boy Ace in Santa Marie, Central California, and his boy Pete. We talked about uh, a whole bunch of other things. 
And now, and now, now we're talking about Haiti. Then. So let's let's keep it let's keep it pushing. And then Carl said, "I'm still trying to figure out the mud pie thing." So liquor store, he said he's still trying to figure out the mud pie thing. Then we got Marie from Life in Haiti. Shout out to Marie from Life in Haiti. Haiti to the world. Yes, indeed. Haiti to the world, Marie. We're here talking about Haiti. And um, me living in Mexico for years and years and years. And a shout out to one of my friends. It's a uh, birthday out there in Australia named Mitch. And then Fitness and Travel Life said Voodoo has nothing to do with it because there is evil everywhere in the world. And Fitness just said that. And then Kizzy said, if you were eating mud pies, just talk for yourself. Not everyone ate mud pies. Go sit down with your PTSD. I guess they're talking about you, um, liquor store. Talk to them, man. Let them know your feedback. Let them know what's going on, man. You only can, you know, explain yourself better than, you only, you can explain yourself better than anybody else can. Then Carl said, Marie. Then Arlene Wade said, Marie. And then Life in Haiti said, Carl, how are you? And then Nadine said, Life in Haiti in the house. Hi, Sister Marie. How's it going? Then Miami said, uh, Miami said, uh, Fitness and Travel Life, I agree with you 100%. Then Carl said, Wonderful Marie. Wonderful. Blessed to be breathing. Love what you're doing with the children, Queen. Keep it up. Keep it up, Marie. Said he loved what you're doing. And then Life in Haiti said, Hello, Mrs. Arlene. And then Life in Haiti said, Love you, Mrs. Nadine. Then Arlene put the, the sign up. Liquor store talk, man. Talk to us, man. You guys, but check out Life in Haiti. She's doing some positive things. Support her channel. Subscribe to her channel. Like her videos, share her videos, watch her videos. Marie from Life in Haiti. She on the live with us, man. Glad you could be on the live with us. Then Arlene Wade. What's going on, Arlene Wade? How'd your day go, Arlene Wade? Well, we're talking about, I guess we can officially say we're talking about some Haitian politics just a little bit. And uh, everybody got quiet all of a sudden. Liquor store talk, talk to us, man. I you probably, he probably, I, I'm figuring you right now what you're going to say. So let's give you a couple minutes here to hear what you're going to say. Then we got life and um, we got uh, fitness and travel life. Check out his channel. He's a YouTuber. He's doing big things. Then Arlene said, my day was cool. Glad to hear that, Arlene. Glad, 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 glad. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. And then uh, Life in Haiti said, thank you, my brother. You made Life in Haiti outside of God. Let's see. Thank you, my brother. You made Life in Haiti outside of God. Okay. Thank you. And then Nadine um, put up a link. I think it's to her, her church channel. So you guys check that out as well. Thank you, Nadine, for um, putting that uh, link up for them. But you guys check out the link and see what the link is about. We got 22 people watching. We got 29 likes. It's Haiti to the world, Dominican Republic to the world, and um, Mexico to the world. Yeah, but if any of you guys ever get an opportunity, I'll change the subject a little bit until somebody gets back on what we were talking about. If anybody ever gets the opportunity, make sure you take that opportunity and go to Mexico. Tijuana uh, was applied to Carmen, which is my favorite place in Mexico. Check out Mexico City. Check out Guadalajara. And they have many more cities that I didn't even name that you should check out as well. Just to let you guys know what's going on. Man, we've been on for like an hour. Anything you guys want to ask me about Mexico, talk to me. Anything you want to know about Haiti that I can answer or want somebody here can answer. Anything you want to know about the mighty, mighty DR, a.k.a. 
Dominican Republic or have anything you want to know about the historical Haiti, talk to me. I'm right here. Let's talk. I'm sitting on my bed. I'm in the DR. What do you guys want to know? Let me know. We were talking about some other things, but it stopped. And we've been on for over an hour now. What do you guys want to talk about? Talk to me. I talk back. I like interaction. We can go back and forth. Instead of me just blabbing my mouth, I like to hear, you know, some of you, you guys' thoughts about Haiti, Mexico, the DR. Talk to me, guys. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. I'm here with you guys. Double check something on here. Maybe it's something I don't know. I'm still here. Okay, Nadine said, Philly Dom, please send me the link for fitness and travel life. You can post it the chat another time. Okay, we'll definitely do that. And then Arlene Wade said, where is uh, Casanova? Lots of laughs. <laughs> and then Dommy Liquor Store is fell asleep in you. Yeah. Liquor store fell asleep. And then Carl said part two. Definitely we'll have a part two, man. We'll definitely, definitely have a part two. And we can name it uh what needs to change for the island of Hispan Yo to to thrive. Cause the island is called Hispan Yo. Dominican Republic is one side, Haiti is the other side. And Carl said Wednesday is no, okay. Carl said Wednesdays is no stalkers on on the live, the live day. <laughs> oh, man. Liquor store, man. Where you at, man? Let's talk, man. We want some of your feedback. And once again, guys, please check out Life in Haiti with Marie from Texas. Just living in Haiti. Please, please check out life in Haiti. She's doing some positive things. She's doing a lot of positive things for the kids and the people out there in Haiti. So shout out to Marie from Life in Haiti. Shout out to Marie from Life in Haiti. And then uh, Arlene Wade said lots of laughs. And then Life in Haiti said Life in Haiti. At Life in Haiti is here to support you always. Yes, indeed. And Carl said, DR Dam nearly looks like Miami. No cap. No, it does, man. The city, uh, <laughs> the, um, the infrastructure ain't no joke here in um, Santa Domingo, man. They, they, they really, they really doing their thing, man. They really doing it. I'm, I'm proud of my brothers in the DR. Like, they really doing their thing, man. They got a subway system. They got uh, cable cars. They got malls. I was just in the Blue Mall today. They got Hooters. They, man, they are doing their thing out here. Man, proud to, shout out to my people on the other side. And then 24 said, gave me a $5 super chat. 24, man, I appreciate you, my brother. I'm down with you. Thank you for the $5 super chat. I greatly appreciate you. Then Life in Haiti, you too. At fitness and travel life. Yes, indeed. Then Nadine said, Williams, I just posted fitness and travel life. Okay. Go check it out. And then liquor store talk slash PTSD. Thank you for the $5 super chat. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you. I greatly, greatly appreciate you, man. Greatly appreciate you. And then he said, if you don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Haiti can't come to America without a sponsor back then. So who cares about you? Cares about you new you think. About you new think. Your, your new thing. Okay, hold on for a second. Let me read it again, liquor store. 
If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Haitians can't come to America without a sponsor back then. So who cares about your new thing? Okay. Liquor Store Talk. He let us know how he felt. Thank you for putting that out there to let them know, Liquor Store Talk. And thank you guys for the Super Chat 24. Liquor Store, thank you. Then Carl said, Liquor Store Talk, PDS. Who exactly you're talking to, brother? And then Nadine said, 24, you know you got it. Thanks for that, Super Chat. Greatly, greatly appreciate you guys. Yeah, Liquor Store, explain who you talking about. Because you got some positive brothers here. Haitian, Jamaican, African American, white, black, whatever they want to be, Asian. And they're here and they want to see, you know, positive things for Haiti and the DR. So who are you talking about exactly? Then Miami said, Haiti took their independence too early and the world them then isolated Haiti as punishment. And then France bankrupt Haiti. That's why Haiti is poor. I hear you, man, Miami. I hear you, Miami. I hear you. I hear you. I overstand you, Miami. I hear you. You guys speaking that truth tonight. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And then, uh, Haiti Gunman. Yo, wait up. What's up, Haiti Gunman? What's up with you, man? And then finish the travel like I said, life in Haiti anytime, sister. Much love and God's blessings. Yes, indeed. And then Nanny Williams said, liquor story, you know, easy what you're saying, pounds. Laugh out loud. Nanny said, Williams, liquor store, you easy enough, pounds. And she said, laugh out loud. I got that a little confused, Nanny. And then Carl said, Miami, so I guess we should have stayed in slavery, right? Bro, stop it. Stop it, please. Then Life in Haiti said, Miami, how's it going? Miami, how's it going from Life in Haiti? Marie wants to know how you're doing. I'm jacking myself up here. But we definitely... Maybe we could do a uh, part two on it or something like this. But we'll change the topic. Um, Life in Haiti, fitness and travel life. Same to you. God bless you. Yes, indeed. And um, shout out to Brother Love in Haiti. Shout out to him as well. Shout out to C. Gency. That's another YouTuber out there. Shout out to Brother Love in Haiti. Check out his channel. Also check out C. Gency. Check out his channel as well. The guys are doing some big things over there in Haiti. On the ground right now in Haiti. Check out their channels. Also, um, check out Daisy Love 83. She's another Haitian YouTuber in Haiti doing big things. Also, check out the um, all the different YouTubers down there doing their thing in Haiti. Check them out. Uh, let's see. Uh... Miami said, Carl, I didn't say we should have stayed in slavery. That's just history, bro. Then Miami said, hi, Marie. Then Carl said, oh, my bad. I thought you meant we should have kicked them out. My mistake. And then Marie from Life in Haiti said, Haiti, Haiti to the world, definitely. And shout out to the KB family. That's another YouTube family in Haiti doing their thing. Not said Philly, you did a, a big. Tell us about. We said you did a big. Tell us about your journey. I'll tell you about everything one day. Everything in my life. But we'll do it piece by piece by piece. We'll do it piece by piece. Now I appreciate you, my brother. For tuning in. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Maybe I should do a Philly life clips. 
things that happen in Philly on um, Philly Dom's life. Maybe I should do that. Not where you from, man. Not where you from, man. Talk to me. Where you from? Where you from, Knots? All right, what's going on, guys? Camden, New Jersey in the building. That's what's up, Not. Yeah, you right there, right across the water from Philly, man. So you know where I'm from, man. You know I'm from Philly. He said, I live in Vegas, though. Yeah, I have, um, I did have a cousin that was living in Vegas, but he moved back to Florida. But I used to slide out there to Vegas, man. Stay up in North Vegas. Back in the day, I even had a, uh, a girlfriend out there in Vegas, so yeah, I know I know where you at, man, and I know Camden. I know Camden, New Jersey. Yeah, I went to George Washington High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Not, not that's where I went to school at, man. High school. Then after that, I went to um, Shippensburg University in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania State College. One of the state schools. And then from there, I transferred to a school in Florida called Florida Atlantic University out there in Boca Raton, Florida. And then Life in Haiti said, what's the difference between Haiti and the DR that you enjoy, enjoy the most? The difference, Marie, between Haiti and the DR the DR is like pretty similar to to the states, especially Santo Domingo. I mean, they they have their poor areas, they have their areas, but Santo Domingo, where I'm at in the capital, it's like being in Miami. It's like being in South Florida. They have everything. They have nice cars. You see people with nice houses. They have nice restaurants. They have Starbucks. They have McDonald's. They have Burger King. They have Pizza Hut. They have uh, sidewalks. They have roads. They, um, anything you imagine, they have Krispy Kremes out here, they have big malls you can go to, Agora, Blue Mall, they have a subway system, they have cable cars, they have Uber, and to wrap it up, they have infrastructure, so it's a lot to do, so it's like, that's what's different, and then, um, let me see, let me see. Life in Haiti said, okay, what's the difference? I told you that one. And then, and what's the most disliked between, what's the most disliked between DR and Haiti? Well, what I don't like about Haiti is, man, it's not progressing like it should. And I don't like to see that. I don't like to see my Haitian brothers struggling. I don't like the state of the, the country. I don't like how everybody's struggling. And I, I just don't, I don't like it. So that's what I don't like about Haiti. The DR, let me think, man. I'm going to have to really... I would say this is what I don't like about the DR, but you'll get this if you're American. I'm Haitian American, obviously, but if you're American or European, whatever, you go to these countries, they have a price for the locals, and then they have a price for the... Um, they have a price for the locals and they have the prices for the tourists. So if you go jump in a taxi, I jump in a taxi and the price is what, I don't know, 50 pesos for a Dominican for a, for a, a tourist, it'll be like 200 pesos. So that's what I don't like. So you really have to like know where you, that's what I don't like about that and the DR, but you catch that in Mexico, you catch that in any any third world country, because people forget Mexico is a third world country. It's hard to believe that, but yes, Mexico is a third world country too. But that's the problem. You you don't you might not get fair prices. They might overcharge you, or what we call it, Marie, the gringo prices. The gringo prices. So that's what I don't like about DR. But and another thing I don't like about DR and Haiti too the same. The countries don't have customer service. It's like once you leave, 
It's like once you leave the United States, like customer service do not exist. Once you leave the United States, it's like customer service don't exist. So definitely the both countries, Haiti and the DR lack customer service. And you get the gringo prices or the American prices or Canadian prices, whatever. But they have a local price and it's like an unspoken rule. But if you've been here long enough in the country, you understand that they can't cheat cheat you, so you always gotta be on your, your P's and Q's. The Nadine Williams said Cash App is uh money Philly Dom seventy five. Facebook is Philly Dom. Instagram is at I am underscore Philly Dom. The fitness and travel life said I lived in Jersey for three months. Camden is crazy. Yeah, Camden, New Jersey is crazy. Fitness. Camden, New Jersey is the real deal. Philly is crazy, man. And then life in Haiti. Marie said, don't make me homesick. Uh, no, man, um, if you come to DR, definitely, Marie, you, you'll get homesick because they have everything here. They got malls, they got movie theaters, they have everything. It's just they have infrastructure. That's what they have over Haiti. They have infrastructure and they have security. Yeah, they have their, their crimes, they have their gangs like any other country, but they have infrastructure. It's run Santa Domingo. I could say Santa Domingo and Santiago because they're like, you know, the big cities here. But, I mean, they have poor places that look, you know, similar to Haiti, like on the countryside. But as far as infrastructure in that major cities, they're doing a good job, man. They are definitely doing a good job. And they have highways. They don't have, um, they don't have roads. They don't have, like, the roads in Haiti that's, like, all messed up. They have, like, good roads, like if you was in Houston, Texas, or Miami, wherever you're from. So that's another good thing. Um, Life in Haiti said we're going to expose a difference, a difference in Haiti. We just have to put our hands together to change what we can. Can't change most of their thinking, but we can lead by example with love. Yes, you can. That's, I agree with you 100% there. Life in Haiti, Marie, I agree with you 100%. Then Nadine said, fitness and travel life. The fitness channel was like, Nadine, anytime. Then Nadine Williams said, please, let's keep our comments clean and respectful. Please, let's do that. Then Life in Haiti said, whoa, no customer service with it being very uh, modernized. Yeah, I mean, they try. They try. I went to go eat the day at um, Hooters with my friend. And, um, you know, the girls are there, they all on their cell phones. They they try, they try, but it's just the U.S., Canada, and maybe some places in Europe and some parts of the Asian world, you have the best customer service. After that, you won't get that, but it's all right. You gotta have Hooters there, too. We gotta have Hooters today. They got everything, man. They got everything. They got everything. Fridays. Man, they got everything. Let me think what else they got. TJ got Fridays, Hooters. They got. They have everything, man. They have this place called uh, Price Smart, which is like a Costco's or like a Walmart. You can get anything you want. Then Carl said, start. And then Carl said, straight facts, Marie. We have to start by protecting each other by any means. We need to start policing our communities. To protect the women and children. Yes, indeed. Carl, I agree with you. Then Carl said, uh, liquor store talk. PTSD, please, bro, relax. Then P Chef said, yes, we can, Marie. Then Fitness and Travel Life said, Nadine Williams, thank you. And then Life in Haiti said, Carl's, we must start embracing each other unconditionally. Our people have adapted me me system which is ugly yes indeed they turn on each other quickly for a u.s dollar Woo. well said and then nadine said fitness and travel life 
And then uh, Life in Haiti said, uh, Peace, Chef, we can, and we will give it some time. Yes, indeed, man. Still Haiti to the world, Dominican Republic to the world, Mexico to the world. Yeah, but you guys know what's going on. Everybody know what the situation is. So tomorrow, man, I'll probably do another live, and I'll incorporate something with Haiti in there. We'll talk about something about Haiti while I'm here in the DR. We'll talk about something about Haiti, man. But um, I actually um, miss Haiti. I miss the food. Got a couple cool people over there on the other side of the island as well in Haiti. Couple, Just a couple. And then Nadine Williams said attention to having having 37 watch. We have 37 watching. Hit the like button. Guys, please, please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support. Liquor Talk, thank you. Thank you so much for the support today. 24, thank you for the support today. I appreciate you guys. Shout out to my friend from um, Australia, Mitch. Happy birthday to you, man. He was a part of our live the day I mentioned you on the live. Shout out to my people, Ace, up there in Santa Marie, California, Central, Central California, and his boy Petey out there in california i know it's still early out there on the west it's about seven o'clock out there on the west coast so i know you guys is watching i wish you guys would have left a comment i greatly greatly appreciate you guys for sort of su supporting the philly Don movement and we have more and more videos to come please please guys share my videos and carl said life in haiti yes it's sad i had Heard without being too political, we if we wait on those who sell on themselves to change, we won't make it. We have to establish rule of law with those who want peace. Yes, indeed. Carl said, Carl said that to life in Haiti. Then Stacy said, Austin, Texas, in the building, in the house for sure, definitely. And then Nadine said, uh, Stacy in the house. Yes, indeed. Let me see this. Then Life in Haiti said, uh, Stacy, thank you, sister. Thank you for the support. Philly Dom, not a problem, man. You know the, know the motto is Haiti to the world. Now we got to say DR to the world because it's still the same island. So Haiti and the Dominican Republic to the world. And a uh, shout out to Mexico as well. Any other questions you guys want to ask me? Anything we're talking about? But definitely tomorrow, I'm going to do a live. I'm going to do a live tomorrow, and it's going to be about something about Haiti. Definitely tomorrow. I was inspired tonight after this live. I'm going to do one tomorrow, and it's going to be something. Something, something, something about Haiti. Definitely for sure. Definitely for sure. So once again, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you. The Miami said, breaks my heart to see where Haiti is. I had my firstborn daughter in Jacqueline, Haiti. I love Haiti. Yes, indeed, man. Miami, when you said that, that ran chills through my body. I know what you mean, man. He said, it breaks my heart to see where where Haiti is, man. Yeah, man, it's it's... It's rough, man, over there, man. Like I told you, I'm here in the DR, and I feel like, I feel, I feel like, man, I'm not even on the same island, man. I can't believe this, man. So we can't accept this. Somebody has to you know, take the stand and try to, you know, little by little change Haiti. A, a lot of small steps will equal a big step down the road. It might not even be in our lifetime, but a bunch of small steps or maybe when we're a lot older, but Haiti definitely will change. God willing, God willing, Haiti will change for the best, man. Because at the end of the day, every Haitian can't leave Haiti and every Haitian can't live. Some, I talk to Haitians in the DR, man. You know, I'm, I'm on the front lines out here with Marie. We on the aisle. We on the island, Hispaniola. And I'm telling you, I talk to Haitians all the time. I talk to Haitians all the time. Matter of fact, I'm not even going, that's what the live is going to be about tomorrow. I talk to Haitians all the time here in the DR, 
And I asked him if you had a choice, would you want to go back to the DR? I mean, would you want to go back to Haiti? Lit? They said if the situation was good, they would love and want to live in their own country because that's where they're from. But they said they like the job situation here and they can support and they can feed their families. But they said if they had a choice and everything was good in Haiti, they would want to live in Haiti because it's their country, they said. Um, Miami said, okay, you said break my heart, then life in Haiti said call in order for the, for, for to establish rules. We, we must change our thinking, stop thinking for ourselves and only and include others in our compassion. Yes, indeed. The peace chef said, see, Gen C, what you guys are doing is amazing. Stay humble and keep going. And every uh and everything God will bless. And then uh hold on man. And then uh Haitian government said Haiti got to change that mentality. Yes indeed. And then life in Haiti said Carl's. Then Arlene said Jesus. So sad. Yes indeed it is. Then Carl said uh Life in Haiti, very true, but we don't enforce anything as a community. And they're going to keep doing what they do if someone um, violates our children, a woman. They have to learn. The way, no love after that. Wow. And then uh, P. Chef said, a whole new government system is needed over there in Haiti. And then Carl said, life in Haiti, be safe though, Marie. God got you, got you, got you for the show. And guys, I'm going to end that on this note because my iPad is dying. But around 9 o'clock tomorrow, I'm going to probably post this one. To let you guys know I'm going live tomorrow and we're going to talk about, we're going to actually talk about Haiti. We're actually going to talk about Haiti tomorrow. This live, I have no choice. We're going to talk about Haiti tomorrow. It'll be a, some kind of subject between the, about the Dominican Republic and Haiti, but we're going to incorporate Haiti into it. So you guys have a blessed night. God bless you guys. Thank you all you guys for tuning in. You hang, you hung out tonight with the one and only Philly Dom. Um, take care, and we will talk soon. And I see you guys tomorrow in the next live. Also, I got a video coming out right after this. When I let this live goes off, I'll put the video on. Talk to you guys later.